Hey Scorpio, fellow Scorpios, I'm a Scorpio um, moon. Um, I'm here to do a reading for you guys for singles. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus is general. It's not going to resonate with each and every Scorpio. Um, and yeah, take what resonates, leave what does not. If you are not single, then this is not your message. I've pre-shuffled the deck and uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'll take that one. Um, and I'm going to take five uh, messages, clarify any that need clarifying and then get some Oracle messages to close out the read. These are going to be, like I said, general messages. Take what resonates. Take what resonates, leave what does not um, for Scorpio uh, singles. I'm going to point the camera down so that you can see uh, the cards as best as I can show them to you. Got the Four of Pentacles so far. All right, let's get uh, four more messages for Scorpio singles. Wow, okay. Um, we've got the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Looking good singles so far. I get two more messages for Scorpio singles, please. Two more messages currently for Scorpio singles. I've actually got three more. I feel guided to take them all. Not the deck, the star energy, Aquarius energy. Um, you guys have now got the Magician, the Ace of Swords, and the Judgment. So we do have two majors here for you guys in your um, single spread. All right, so Scorpio singles, what do we have? And like I said, we've got uh, Aquarius energy, the star at the bottom of the deck. So we do actually have quite a lot of majors here for you guys, considering it's only a five, what, six card spread. Okay, so I've moved the camera down, guys, because it's easy for my arm um, to not to hold it up so high. Um, yeah, so you guys got the four of pentacles here as your overall energy, right? All right, so singles, you know, this can be... Definitely an energy of holding on to something, right? Holding on, holding back, um, maybe, you know, really focusing on your pentacles at the moment. And that could mean, you know, whatever gives you stability, whatever gives you a sense of stability in your life, whether it be work, money, combination of both, you know, having um, security, assets, um, things behind you, you know, people that back you up, people that support you. Um, I feel like you're kind of refusing to budge here. This is, like I said, the overall energy of the read. So this is someone who's very much, you know, holding on here. That's holding on to everything that they have with dear life, you know, whether it be monetary, physical, or a combination of both. Um, I feel like you feel like it's yours, you know. Um, whatever, I feel like you kind of feel like maybe this, um, whatever's coming into you as a single energy, you know, you deserve and it's yours and you're not going to let go of it, you know. That could be what's coming in here, I don't know. The other energy I'm getting, we will clarify some of these, but let's go ahead and keep reading your message, um, Scorpio Singles. Um, Two of Cups is a really positive message. The Two of Cups here, you know, this is very much about, you know, connecting with someone. It's about a relationship, it's about connection, it's about coming together, partnership, attraction. You know, you guys will have a lot of attraction and be, um, you know, a really good potential connection in, in this future connection that's coming in, right? Um, you know, you're moving towards each other, I'm seeing here. Um, there, there may be a lot of sexual attraction here, I'm hearing. Um, romantic love, you know, you guys could establish a bond here. This could literally be, you know, a twin flame or a soulmate that you know from the past or that is new that's coming into your life here. Take it as it resonates. You guys are establishing some kind of bond here, a very um, uh, significant bond. That means that you guys could have each other, you know, in your lives, in each other's lives rather for a long period of time is what I'm hearing. Mutual understanding here. There's harmony. There's mutual respect cooperation it also speaks to reconciliation and forgiveness so if there is someone from your past to be with this could also um, speak to reconciliation and forgiveness so take it as it resonates okay with this ace of cups um scorpio singles this is definitely love this is you know this is definitely a new opportunity in love you know the aces are about new opportunities divinely gifted divinely granted opportunities and cups are about love and emotion so you know there's definitely a new romance here there's definitely intimacy here coming in um, for you guys, um, beginning of a new love and, and, and awareness. And this is a singles read. So this is a very good energy to come out in your spread, um, Scorpio. There's definitely a new beginning coming in here that's divinely gifted, divinely granted. You're going to be expressing your feelings, or they are, or both of you are. You know, this is about being in touch with your emotions. It's about maybe being infatuated with each other or growing together, learning together, loving together is what I'm hearing. Um, you know, 
feelings are, are developing here and there is definitely a desire for deeper connection here between the both of you. I feel like it's a mutual energy that you're both seeking a deeper connection between one another. All right, now we have got the Magician energy, which is Major Arcana, um, uh, Gemini energy, you know, consciously manifesting this into being. Um, the ability to the ability to manifest is really significant in this message, you know, realizing your potential. I feel like you're focusing on a goal here at the moment with this uh, coming out, right? So, so this is literally, you know, major arcana number one. So after the full zero, this is about manifesting a brand new, you know, situation, a brand new love into being. Beautiful message, beautiful energy coming in for you guys, Scorpio singles. Ace of Swords, <laughs> truth and clarity, right? This is a beautiful, this is literally, you cannot make this stuff up. You know, clarity, truth, objectivity, honesty, right? That's what you want, Scorpio. That's what we seek more than anything. As a Scorpio moon, I know that truth and clarity is literally the, you know, one of the most important things that we could possibly seek and have and attain in our inner connection. Right, so I'm seeing here, you know, that justice is going to be um, part of this connection, right? Truth, clarity, honesty, objectivity. You know, cutting through illusion and getting to the heart of the matter, getting to the truth, cutting to the chase, you know, not having any bullshit and not beating around the bush and getting to exactly the heart of the matter. You know, um, realizing the way forward, using logic and facing the facts. This is literally about facing the facts. Um, it's about the facts coming to the forefront here. There's no bullshit here. Be about, you know, you analyzing their motives right? Because I feel like this person does have some motivation for coming towards you and you want to analyze that. What are their true motives about this new connection? Uh, it's very important to you that that truth is, is part of this connection, right? Um, yeah, this, this, this has to be very honorable, very truthful, very upfront and honest connection, right? And then we have the judgment card, right? You cannot make this stuff up. Magician, the Ace of Swords, and now the judgment Right, so this it's really important that this is very a very transparent connection to you, a very um, upfront, honest connection, you know. And manifestation obviously has occurred here, um, something beautiful coming in here with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups, right? Whatever you're, you know, trying to manifest here is coming into being, you know. That's a beautiful union, right? After perhaps you know holding on and holding back in the past, maybe focusing on your Pentacles and and you know uh, material wealth, right? Doing the healing here, doing healing to to get into this space, to get into this energy. Literally the second to last major in the spread, right? So it's very significant, right? It's about liberation, you know? It's about obtaining judgment, justice. It's an inner calling to have something transform into your favor, something that you deserve, that truly, you know, rightfully is yours, justification and justice. About dropping old values and embracing new ideas. Um, it's about accepting things the way that they are. Okay, there's going to be a transformation here. Account for the past, but let it go and move on. So this person wants there to be a second, you know, a second chance in this connection. A judgment call made that they deserve a second chance because they're bored in truth and clarity here, and you know they've really focused on on manifesting. Um, a new connection between the two of you, Scorpio. So it looks really, you know, positive, you know, a beautiful new connection here after um, potentially holding back, after potentially holding back and holding on to other areas of their life and not, not wanting to give themselves too freely because they were too afraid of getting hurt. Okay, Scorpio singles, I, I feel like we've, you know, we've got a pretty clear message here that, you know, you are bringing in uh, truth and clarity, manifestation, um, you know, um, a second chance is coming in here, coming in here, truth and clarity is coming in here with this Ace of Swords energy, love and abundance is coming in here, it looks like you have something very beautiful coming in here, you know, you may well have been holding on in the past, but uh, you've done the healing energy here, you know, you've done the healing, and you know, you're ready to accept something that is very truthful, very honest, um, that you literally, you know, are deserving of, you know, this judgment call is made, you know, you make a judgment call and you manifest exactly the love that you desire and you deserve. So I do see a beautiful energy coming in for you. Um, let's just get um, a couple of messages from a different deck about um, what's coming in here for Scorpio. Oh my goodness, we have got 
the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Guys, what have I what have I just been saying? You guys are going to receive something very beautiful and abundant. You're manifesting um, a new beginning, a new opportunity, truth and clarity, something beautiful. The Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, going to be very open, very honest connection, very truthful connection. You guys are going to be very open and upfront and honest with each other, which is exactly what a Scorpio needs, believe me. Truth and clarity is extremely important to a Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles, truth, clarity, family, abundance, long-term commitment, beautiful. You know, you literally have got the picket fence, um, the animals, the children, you know, everything kind of comes together here in divine timing. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving, so it may not happen immediately, but I do see that there is that coming in for you guys. So if you stick to your guns here, if you get to know each other, you give this, you know, you, you make the judgment call to give this um, your full attention here. Truth and clarity is established with the Ace of Swords. You're both very upfront and honest with each other. You continue to manifest this into being. Um, you have this very beautiful union coming in here, um, and you know you, you do, and you do the healing that's necessary. Um, you know you are going to receive this. It's just going to take. It may come in, you know, a little bit slow, but it's going to come in here. Is what I'm seeing. Um, bottom of the deck we have. Oh my goodness. The Eight of Wands. This literally is my confirmation card. This is literally my yes card in the deck. This is also about forward movement. It's about communication. But for me, most of all, it's about forward movement, fast forward movement. So if you want something to progress and, you, and you're seeking connection or you know an answer about that from the deck, so I get confirmation from Spirit with this Eight of Wands that it is going to move forward and you guys are going to have exactly what you want here. And you know what, guys? I have got the Two of Cups, which we have again. I've already got the Two of Cups here in the spread. I've now got the Two of Cups confirmation. So you guys are going to come together and have a beautiful union. Scorpio singles. And then I have got the Chariot. Fast forward movement again. This is literally about traveling forward in victory and success. Having exactly what you guys want and deserve. Um, and then I have got the Knight of Wands. Passionate. Moving passionately towards exactly what you desire. Four of Wands. Literally, you know, higher levels of commitment. This is the 11-11 card. Literally could involve marriage. or could just be about stability and home life. You guys could have a very stable... You guys, you guys could move in together. Or it could just be that you feel very stable and secure with each other. You know, in this connection until it builds to that. And then we have got the Judgment card again. You cannot make this stuff up. Uh, Ten of Wands first. Yes, dropping a burden. Ten of Wands is very positive for me because it's all about reaching the 10 and going back to the zero and, and starting a new, you know, dropping that... Dropping that weight, that heavy burden. So I see you doing that, Scorpio. Dropping the burden and then what happens? You get the judgment, which we've already been speaking about. A judgment gets made that you deserve exactly what, what is coming in here. Truth and clarity and something very open, upfront and honest and a brand new love situation. The judgment is here twice. You cannot make it up. What do we have next? The lovers. Literally making a choice to go towards you know your twin flame soulmate connection. This is someone that you're destined to be with. This is a divine union. Three of Wands, you've been waiting for this to come in. You know, this is about expansion and growth. And you've waited for this. You've waited for your ships to come in. And here they are. We've got the Three of Wands and the Four of Wands here. Three of Cups, you celebrating, you know, this union with your friends and family. Page of Pentacles, a new stable opportunity. You know, an actual tangible opportunity that you can touch with your hands. It's, it's a future, uh, a very, you know, um, tangible, beautiful. up. This is literally a, a new opportunity in your connection. To have a brand new beginning. Now, um, we did start off the reading with the Four of Pentacles, and guess what I have now? The Four of Pentacles. So, yeah, it just confirms that you do really value stability, security. You do hold on to your, you know, um, security, you know, your stability, your finances, whatever makes you feel stable and secure in a connection, you're holding on to that. And that's just fine as long as you have, you know, room to open your heart to love as well. Um, with the devil being here, it shows me that maybe just be wary of, you know, um, toxic ways of thinking, behaviors, patterns of behavior from the past. And then we have the fall, brand new beginning. You guys, you know, taking a leap of faith and having a brand new connection here. The Hierophant, the Six of Wands, the Ten of Cups. I'm going to stop there because I could go forever, but we've got a beautiful, beautiful reading here. Victory and success, higher levels of commitment, marriage, you know, long-term stability, Ten of Cups. Um, a beautiful union here, a lot of love and romance coming in, a uh, brand new beginning, you know. Look at this, I, I could just keep going, but I need to stop. This is amazing. And now we have this um, Nine of Swords, the Sun and the Star. Wow. This, you know, the Sun and the Star, very, very spiritual connection, enlightenment, awakenment, receiving what you deserve. The Nine of Swords goes after what they want. They rush in and, and take what they deserve. 
Um, bottom of the deck, the world. Yeah, you guys are literally starting out a new cycle here. Yeah, after being in a hermit energy, going within, doing the introspective work, and you know maybe watching this person lying here, or it could just literally mean you've done the introspective work. All right, uh, let's get a couple of oracle messages for Scorpio singles. I'm going to keep this as short as I can, guys, because this message went a bit longer than I would have hoped. Come out and show us. All right, so we've got the sword and the rose. Yep, clarity, truth, revelation coming in. Um, definitely here, ace of swords energy, right? Literally, sword and the rose. That is my um, ace of swords energy. So truth and clarity is definitely coming in here, which is going to help you move forward in this connection. We've got the camera energy, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past and making memories. So I do feel as though you are very much learning from the past, Scorpio. You are, you know, you do have a deep connection with the people that you connect with. And the lightning energy here, um, which again, you know, I feel like that's not a surprise, you know, uh, with this lightning energy, you know, sudden change, shocking news, an epiphany, transformation, you know, that's literally your energy, Scorpio. You know, this is death energy for you, that you are very comfortable in a death energy, a very um, lightning moment transformation, that we're very com comfortable in that energy. So I do see you're going to transform here, you're going to have something very beautiful, um, you know, maybe you even saw this coming here with this camera energy. You are very intuitive energy and the Sword of the Rose shows me that truth and clarity is very much here and very clear to you. Okay, bottom of the deck we have got healing heart, yeah, healing from heartbreak and uh, moving on, you know, freedom from the past, right? Let's get one or two messages from the Romance Angel Oracle. Okay, we have got, you deserve love. You are lovable. I think you know that, Scorpios. You guys are beautiful. All right, I'm going to take uh, that one and move along because I'm running out of time. All right, can I get um, one or two messages from the Work Your Light now, please? For... Okay, we have got two messages here. Share your voice. Come out of the cave, persecution and expression. Yep, definitely time to express exactly how you feel. And Scorpios are not shy to do that. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors, ancient keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand behind, stand beside you. So you definitely have got your guard, you know, your guides and your guardian angels standing beside you in this energy, Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, we've got unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So yeah, you're definitely letting go of anything that doesn't serve you. Um, let's get a final message from the uh, Love Oracle for you, Scorpio Singles. What is the message for Scorpio Singles? Just one or two messages, please, for Scorpio Singles. Can I get one mess, one or two messages for Scorpio Singles? Whoop. We'll take this one that fell out. Okay, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Yeah, and I do feel as though that's the energy here. You know, you have been, you know, a little bit guarded and blocked here. Um, but truth and clarity comes to light here. There's a beautiful message here. You know, um, you do deserve love. Um, you know, pff, you know, a lightning moment. Truth and clarity is coming in here. Um, and you, you know, after healing here, you know, after going within energy at the bottom of the deck you know you're going to receive a brand new abundant beginning that you've manifested you know you cannot make this stuff up ten of pentacles ace of cups um you know the magician the judgment um the ace of swords truth and clarity judgment call being made you know moving forward um success and victory charging towards it right um, judgment is here twice, right? With the lovers, you know, a very um, spiritual connection, having a brand new beginning and a, you know, a high level of commitment here. Victory and success, Ten of Cups is here twice. Ten of Wands, like you cannot make this stuff up. You know, you've got something very, very beautiful coming in here, Scorpio Singles. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And don't forget that I'll be doing uh, uploading your February, February read in the coming days. So please stay tuned to the channel, and I will see you then. Thanks, guys. Bye.